What is the five-star Prince Park Tokyo Tower Hotel like? How much does it cost? In this video, I'm going to be sharing our experience when we visited in September 2023. We upgraded for a Tokyo Tower room on the 22nd floor and we enjoyed breakfast both mornings on the 33rd floor as well as eating sushi in the Hamashiba restaurant. And as with all my videos, I'm going to be sharing with you how much this will cost. So let's jump into it. So first of all, the location. The Prince Park Hotel is located in the Minato City District of Tokyo, which was a six minute taxi ride for us from the Shimbashi station. That's where our Shinkansen bullet train brought us into Tokyo. The hotel is within the parks of the Shibako Garden and its huge appeal is generally its proximity and view of the Tokyo Tower. Tokyo Tower is 339 meters tall. It's actually the second tallest structure in Japan. A tallest structure in Japan is the Sky Tree, which is featured in my video of my Tokyo itinerary. Have a look there. Originally, the Tokyo Tower was a broadcast tower built in 1957, and it looks very similar to the Eiffel Tower in Paris. And this was a treat for us in our trip to Tokyo. We decided to splash out a little bit. So connectivity wise, the hotel does have a shuttle bus that takes you from the Hamashitu station and it runs from 8 a.m. until 10 p.m. every 30 minutes. Now, we actually didn't use a shuttle bus. Uh, we just got a taxi because it was just faster for us. But um, those shuttle buses are really useful, especially if you have got suitcases and you're traveling around Japan. We also found that the hotel was quite close to a couple of underground stations. So we used the Akabashi underground station on the Odeo line and we got this um, to go to places such as Harajuku. And we then also use the underground station at Demon Station, which is a little bit further away, maybe about 15 minute walk. And we use that to go to Tokyo Skytree. When we checked in, we were greeted with an amazing birthday gift. Um, we let them know that it was Ed's birthday as well as mine. And they gave us a little uh, basket of gifts which had loose leaf which had amazing tea bags in it so thank you very much for that gift it really brightened our day so we upgraded for a tokyo tower view room on the 20th floor and this was looking out to the west of the city the views were absolutely stunning and in these hotel rooms you find that it's all windows so it's beautiful even from the bathroom you can sit in the bath enjoy looking out over the city also when you get a shower in the morning but also i think the thing i love in these hope type of hotel rooms is when you get in you get the remote you press the open button on the curtains and it just reveals this just amazing stunning view so as with standard really across all five-star hotels you've got free wi-fi there was a desk a mini bar key facilities lots of bathroom toiletries a coffee pod uh, machine which was amazing and yeah that for me, the things that won this room were the bath looking out over Tokyo. And also a nice little touch was a complimentary bottle of something when we arrived. So me and my partner don't drink alcohol, but they had a non-alcoholic fizzy bottle, which we absolutely loved and felt really special that they actually had uh, catered for non-alcoholic drinkers. So yeah, that just added a bit of an extra touch for us on the trip. So food-wise, we had breakfast on the 33rd floor and this was standard kind of continental breakfast. There was also Japanese breakfast available as well. Uh, but for me, I loved having some scrambled eggs for the first time in the whole two weeks we've been on the trip. That was really nice. And also the staff were really friendly. I was waiting for one of the pancakes to get made, but the chef said, sit down, he'll come bring it over to me. Again, one of the key benefits of this breakfast and I'm a fan of a breakfast at a, a hotel. I think I've said this in previous videos. For me, I always look at what the breakfast options are like and I have been hard pressed to think of somewhere else I've had breakfast with a view like this. Because you're on the 33rd floor, you actually get a full 360 almost of the of the hotel and yeah, the views were stunning. You could see all the way out into kind of central Tokyo. It was amazing. So we had dinner and the first night we arrived because we were just so tired from having traveled on the bullet train for about two to three hours. So we went downstairs to the sushi restaurant, which was called Hamashiba. And I'll be honest, I kind of got myself a bit confused when we checked in because we did get a credit to use in the hotel. So I presumed we had more money available than we actually did. 
and this meal it was okay it was nice the sushi was really tasty i didn't really enjoy being in the basement because you just don't get any views and in, in a building that's just so magnificent as this in such a great location it's just a shame that you can't enjoy sushi with a view and also the service was okay it just wasn't the best meal i've had and especially considering the price it was not cheap it was around 200 pounds in total which was very expensive but i thought we had more credit than we did if i'd have known that we hadn't got that credit i would not have eaten down there personally i'd have probably gone somewhere else nearby we went to tokyo world because that's just on the marina and it was around a nine minute taxi to get there and also we did book our tickets last minute this is an amazing exhibition of lots of different sensory experiences uh, i don't want to say too much because it might ruin it but if you're going to tokyo definitely put it on your list it's worth experiencing and I would also recommend booking in advance as well because it can get quite busy. And then in terms of the Tokyo Tower, we did, we actually decided not to go up to the Tokyo Tower because we thought that the views of the tower itself from the hotel were probably going to be better than the views from the tower without seeing it. So we actually just spent a lot of our time in the evenings, just in the room, enjoying the view and just watching the city just hustle and bustle. We actually stayed two nights at the Prince Park Tower Hotel Hotel and then three nights at the APA Hotel Shinjuku. We ended up getting quite a good price at Prince Park Tower and that was mainly because of an offer that we had with American Express. I, I actually fell in love with this hotel when we checked in. <laughs> Just the view. I could have stayed looking at that view for so long. Um, and we did inquire about how long it would be to stay an extra three nights, but it was around a thousand pounds. So we decided we were going to go to the hotel we'd booked for 277 pounds. So we stayed for two nights in September and we had a corner king room, including breakfast for both days. And the total price was around 551 pounds. However, we got a credit from American Express for 200 pounds due to us having the platinum card. It was a first year offer that they had. And also there was an offer at the time for another hundred pounds of travel credit. So this meant that the room ended up costing us 251 pounds rather than 551 pounds. Then we did upgrade when we arrived to get the view of the tower. So that was an extra £160 for two nights. And then we also got the $100 credit, which was around 13,000 yen. This again was credit because we're an American Express Platinum customer. And we then used that credit to pay for the sushi restaurant, which as I mentioned was quite expensive. It was around £270 in total. And so in the end, the total cost for everything, including city tax was £635.58. Um, now that's obviously quite a bit for two nights stay, but if you'd had an event in the restaurant like we did, then it actually would have been £365, which I think for a five-star hotel with those amazing views, around £150, whereas well, £91 per person per night. I don't think it's that bad considering Tokyo is generally quite an expensive city and Japan is quite expensive. It was definitely worthwhile having those discounts with American Express. In summary, I would recommend staying at this hotel if you're going to Tokyo, even if it's just for one or two nights, if you can. It's a great way to just get that amazing view of Tokyo Tower. In terms of location wise, I didn't find it was the best one. I actually enjoyed us moving to a different hotel near Shinjuku because it meant then we were in a different area for the other part of our trip to Tokyo. And it just meant we had more flexibility and also it just made our budget more flexible as well. I think that's it really. My only recommendation would be if you are gonna go, maybe just check how much the restaurant costs before you go and sit down. <laughs> So yeah, that's it from me. As always, if you liked, then please subscribe. Uh, there'll be another travel video again next Monday. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.